What can you do with soup spoons on string? They're not much good for soup, but they do make reasonable chimes. Listen to this. A thin tinkling sound. However, if I put the ends of the strings next to my ears, see if you notice any difference. You ready? None whatsoever. However, I hear something which is very different indeed. Here's what I heard. I really did. Sounds like church bells, doesn't it? And you can find the same effect yourself by trying it out with two soup spoons or forks and spoons and string. You get that effect because the sound, the vibrations, are travelling not only through the air to your ears but also up the string really travels along string and because sound does that we can make the world's cheapest telephone here's all you need two empty match boxes take the trays out turn them upside down and carefully with the point of a pair of scissors make a hole in the base of the tray and then poke one end of the string through there and on the other end tie a knot now the string can be 10, 15, 20 metres long. You need another person, of course, to hold the other matchbox, which is secured in exactly the same fashion on the other end of the string. You talk into one end, the sound travels along the string, the other person hears at the other matchbox, and then the other person can talk back to you by putting the mouth there, and you put your ear here. It really works, provided the string is kept tight. You don't get much volume. If you want more volume, you need a larger container, such as a tin can, plastic drinking cup or a butter container. Well, I have another telephone here, string telephone, using butter containers. Rob, Thank would you, you like to take that one over to the other side of the studio? And I'll take this one here and we'll test it out and see if it really works. The important thing is to make sure that the string is really tight. Rob, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you really clearly. Great. What's next on the show? Well, I've still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve and after the break, I'm going to need your help.